This is non-calculator question 14 from SAT practice test 1. College Board gives us a linear equation 3x minus y equals 12 and asks us to evaluate the ratio a to the x over 2 to the y. One of the easiest ways to do many problems like this is to make up some numbers. So I'm going to choose x equals 4 because then y equals 0 and 3 times 4 minus 0 is 12 minus 0 is 12 so that does work for their equation then 8 to the x over 2 to the y is 8 to the 4 over 2 to the 0, and 2 to the 0 is 1, so that's 8 to the 4 over 1, which is 8 to the 4. 8 to the 4 is not 4 to the 4 because our base is larger and we have the same exponent. It's not 8 squared because it's 8 squared squared, which is much larger. Let's try and see if it can be written as a power of 2. 8 is 2 cubed, and 8 to the 4th is 2 cubed to the 4th, Power of power, you multiply exponents. So that would be 2 to the 3 times 4 is 2 to the 12, which does match this choice. On the SAT, I'd stop there because I don't expect to get something that can't be determined if I matched on my first guess. Let's try another guess, and then I'll do the real algebra. How about x equals 0, y equals negative 12? I would not do the second one on the actual SAT but it's nice to illustrate that it doesn't matter what numbers you choose. 0 minus negative 12 is positive 12, so that works. 8 to the x over 2 to the y is 8 to the 0 over 2 to the negative 12. 8 to the 0 is 1. 2 to the negative 12 in the denominator is same, the same as 2 to the 12 in the numerator. So that's 2 to the 12, which matches. Let's try it algebraically, though. 3x minus y so that was one attempt. This is a second attempt. I'm on my third attempt. 3x minus y equals 12. Add y to both sides. 3x equals 12 plus y. Subtract 12 from both sides. I'm just solving for y. 3x minus 12 equals y. Now, 8 to the x over 2 to the y is 8 to the x over 2 to the 3x minus 12. And we saw before that 8 is 2 cubed, so it's 2 cubed to the x over 2 to the 3x minus 12. And power of power, you multiply exponents, so that's 2 to the 3x over 2 to the 3x minus 12. If you're taking a quotient with powers of the same base, you subtract exponents. So this is 2 to the 3x minus 3x minus 12 which is 2 to the 3x, distributing the negative, minus 3x, minus negative 12 is plus 12, 3x minus 3x is 0, so that is 2 to the 12 algebraically. It does work for all choices of x and y, so our answer here would be choice A. Make sure you're comfortable with our exponent rules because they often come up on the SAT, and come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.